Okay guys, Rob out here and I'm always in hotwater.com. Also now boats in hotwater.com. Uh, copy, paste and go and you should get to the same spot while the website's being built. And we're trying to beat the rain today out here on Hilton Head Island. And what we're doing out here today, uh, we tried yesterday but the uh, video was a fiasco. Um, we have a 2007, and let's get right to the crux of the matter. 2007, if you guys can see that. 150 Montauk with a 2008 60 ELPT Bigfoot and that's from 2008 and if this motor has 50 hours on it I would be shocked um, but we're gonna call it under 100 hours in fact I wanted to see if the service guys were in today if they could pull an hours for me on the motor uh, I was gonna actually have that done uh, but like I said this thing has got to be under 100 hours probably less than I'd say 50 is gonna be my guess this 150 Montauk has bottom paint which is in very good shape and as you guys can see by the exterior hull she is also in good shape uh, all you got is a little spill back from being on the second rack from the boats up above uh, which will probably clean up with a little bit of on off and I also had that same issue here with a little bit of grease coming down off someone's lower unit on the outside cowling of this Mercury. Now, first and foremost, I wanna let you guys know this motor has not been uh, through a full service. Last time, if this is 2015, probably gonna be the end of the 2012, early 2013 season, I am going to recommend that a service, an up-to-date service upon purchase would be definitely recommended. And as I'm gonna get through the outside of the hull, you got a little bit of soft paint coming off here. But overall, the hull is in excellent shape. I have nothing to complain about. Zero issues on this vessel uh, as far as the exterior hull goes and uh, needing an up-to-date service. And I'm going to get my shoes off real quick so I don't get dirt on the boat. If you guys can just bear with me, you know, I like to do it. Now, this vessel does not hail with a trailer nor a bimini top i'm checking on a bimini but i don't see any fittings for a bimini so we'll call in no bimini and no trailer with you guys now going through this 150 montauk she is i just gave her a quick scrubbing um and she hasn't run in a while in fact here's my bottle cap from earlier i just want to give you guys a quick walk through now, as you can see, I'm gonna, as usually, I'm gonna try and point out positives and negatives up in the little insert area where the um, fire extinguisher is. You guys can see that's broke. You can get that from Boston Whaler or probably anywhere. That is actually uh, a very, very inexpensive accessory to put in there. I'd probably put some wood in there if it was me. The nav lights work. I've been through those. Anchor hatch. The cushions are in great shape. I have really no complaints. Um, comes with the cooler. Just so you guys know, today I put in a brand new Everstart Deep Cycle 24 DC battery. You see the 315, brand new battery as of today. I felt like that battery was struggling when I inspected the vessel yesterday, so I just replaced it. Of course, don't worry, I will back charge the seller. And as we kind of bounce up over here, what I want to show you guys, remember you got the Teleflex cable steering, you have your cushions, um, they are also in good shape. Uh, you have a couple of snaps that need to be replaced. And also I'm getting no response from the live well pump. Um, I don't even know when the last time the live well pump probably was used, but a couple of snaps, a live well pump, and a fresh service, you guys can see. Two 6.6 gallon tanks. You guys can see the pilot chair, reversible. Well, up. Oh, I gotta lift up, but I'm holding the camera in one hand. There we go. And as you guys see, and that cleans right up. Got a little stain right here, but as doing by my fingernail, that looks like that cleans right up as well. She's just a beautiful, clean boat. Now let's just kind of work our way through. Uh, accessories, which I will also assume be the live well pump. Actually, let's turn the key. Oop. Nav, anchor, bilge pump is fired up and working, as you guys can see. 
All right, let's let that run for a second. Nav and anchor lights, this is a pretty simple vessel. You guys can see, hopefully you can see, I'm gonna take the shakiness out in editing. And let's, Fish Finder Garmin, Fish Finder 160C. Fired up yesterday, but uh, maybe I need two accessories. I know it works because I fired it up yesterday unless I didn't connect one of the wires off of the battery, which I think I did. I think I got everything in there. DC bilge man, you see that fuse box in there. Everything's clean up underneath here. Uh, also, I did pop in the stereo. That is not working, but I would probably just get a new insert on that. Let's kill the bilge pump. Let's kill the accessories. And let's kill the nav lights. And um, let's, you know, fire up. Let's see what happens. All right, let's pump that bulb and give her a little bit of fuel. Make sure I got water running down there. All right, there we go. There we go. Just had to give a little bit of pump. There we go. All right, she sounds good. Now I haven't had this vessel out on the water. We got water flow already coming out, so we know the water pumps uh, seems to be in decent shape. Like I said, vessel very barely used, uh, or we'll call it lightly used. I know this Garmin works because I had it fired up yesterday. I will double check my connections on the battery, but she was working just fine. Let's just go accessories again. I can't remember what I did yesterday. Yeah, I know that works. I know, I know, I know. I will guarantee it works. Um, anyway, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com, as we can see. Here, let's give this a little bit of. Considering she hasn't run in about four months. But once again, I'm always going to recommend a new service. You guys know water pumps on these need to be done at least bi yearly on this vessel. So, anyway, Rob out here at I'm always in hotwater.com with a really, really, really sweet 150 Montauk. No trailer, um, new battery, live well pump not working. You need a few snaps on the cushions. And. I will double check my connection with the battery to make sure my fish finder is working because I know it is. So uh, reasonable offers will be considered on an improved offer sheet. And if you guys have any other questions, please feel free to call me. Rob out here. I'm always at hotwater.com. Sign up. You guys have a great and safe floating day. And like I said, I will try and get this baby out on the water today or tomorrow, and I will video document it as well.